James P. Madonna, Mega Life 21, and Progressive Discussions headed for the Royal Hibachi Buffet on Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. What do we got here? Oh, look at this. He's got a, a new blackboard special board out here. Look at this. Winter soup specials to go. Huh. Which means he has them to stay. Chicken soup, wonton soup. Chinese vegetables, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour soup? Uh, I know about hot and sour soup. Soup of the day, whichever that is. Small, 275. Large, 449. I'm assuming it's in a pint. All right, here we go. I'm entering. I'm entering the building. I'm entering the building. Oh, I hear chatter of children. There you go. Okay, I'm entering the building now. It was so it was it was so crowded here at New Year's Day. The line was almost out the door. Let's see what we got here. Ah, plenty of room, plenty of room. The line was almost out the door, believe it or not, New Year's Day. Please do not waste food, although we offer all you can eat. All right, let's see what we got here. Please pay attention to your children. Yeah, right, nobody pays attention to their children. They let their children ransack the place. This is the general public, it has no reflection on uh, management and staff. Right? Kid looks like a real br nah. The kid looks innocent, like an angel, compared to the monsters I've seen that need Krampus to visit them. Commodore Jeff Sambello, whoever invented the commercial restroom water-saving faucet, has to be the cheapest motherfucker who ever lived. Honestly, I could strangle that person. Whoever invented it, the same. Uh, a computer geek programmer that invented voice to text, which doesn't really work. Incredible. Look at that. The king of all sushi. Look at that. Rolls being professionally made with the bamboo wrap. Look at that. The right way. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. This guy's the king of sushi. Look at that. Rolls made to perfection. There you go. Boom. And he's going to slice them with a very sharp knife because a dull knife is dangerous, much more dangerous than a sharp knife. Beautiful, beautiful job. Here we got all the covers. Uh, no duck, no duck. We got those clams, we got the rice noodles, we got some dumplings, but no duck. A little bok choy. There's your soups. We go. Oh, oh wow! The guy's doing. The guy's doing Mongolian barbecue and sushi. Here we got lo mein noodles, artificial crab meat, shrimp. What happened? What happened? The other guy called out sick. I don't know. Not not too many vapors of life right now. I just arrived at the Royal Hibachi Buffet. One guy's doing everything. He's making sushi and he's doing Mongolian barbecue. What happened to the staff? What's going on here? These cheap American companies? Where the hell's the staff here? You gotta smack them around. Son of a bitch. Look at it. I'm, I'm happy they got covers though. Very happy. Got some good hardcore sushi. California. California roll is for babies. It's for babies. You gotta get the hardcore stuff. This, look, sashimi. Ah, come on. Come on, you people. Oh, look at the, oh, look at that. Look at that succulent thick cod. That, no wonder it's almost gone. Look at that. Oh, look at all this flounder with a shrimp in the middle. Here you got uh, white sauce, uh, black mussels with calamari, 
succulent and tender. Stuff shows. Okay, you know what? The early bird catches a maggot. I think that's how it says. I, the early bird catches a maggot. Look at that cod. Oh, catch it a day. Look at that. They better bring out more fish here. I don't see I don't see too much action going on here. Where the hell are the employees? What do you got here? Beef stew. What the hell? Mm. What the hell's going on here? Now take one of these. Look at it. So what's it gonna be? It's gonna be surf and surf. There ain't no surf and turf. If I put beef stew in here, Jeff Sambello, the gravy is gonna is gonna get the beef gravy is gonna get all over my fish. You know? That's the only problem. So I'm gonna have to find a different kind of uh, surf. I'll have to come back for these. For the cock dribble clams. Oh, that's it. And this, this Mongolian barbecue order is going to be well done and mushy. Those shrimp are going to be dry and stringy. He's leaving it on too long. Got some vapors of life going there. All right. What do we got over here? No duck. Oh, no duck. I don't see no duck. Oh, I guess I'm, the only um, turf is going to have to be steamed dumplings, I guess. Whatever meat that's inside the dumplings. I got no choice. I got no choice, man. Look at that. There's no duck. What happened to the roast duck? The duck... The, usually the duck is out of luck. This time I'm out of luck. What the hell's going on? James P. Madonna is going to have to smack some people around, you know what I mean? I say that in honor of the creator Mario Petrus. Hello Mario Petrus, Salvatore Mercurio, Anthony Laura, Mick Von Raven. Uh, I know you guys are culinary experts and, and experts at smacking people around. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Oh, there's that succulent chicken breast. Oh, look at that. You got like paella today. Look at that. Paella Valenciana. Look at that. Ah, paella Valenciana. Ah, look at that, guys. You know how much you, you know how much you pay for that in a Spanish Portuguese restaurant? Over twenty bucks. Downtown, uh, what do mean, Ferry Street, Newark, or just about anywhere they got Spanish Portuguese food. Look at that. Meatballs. Eh. Eh. Chicken. Eh. Fried chicken, I can have any time. Two kinds of, well, here's mac and cheese. But, but that chicken's really succulent. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to grab one of those. I'm going to have to grab one of those, man. What do they call that? That chicken breast is very tender. What? What? Is, what do they? Call, that, what is that? Uh, what name does the the boss give this? Grilled chicken. Oh, grilled chicken, like a Mediterranean uh, seasoning or something. It's pretty good though. Uh, they probably marinate it. I don't know the cooks. Jeff Sambello. The, the 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 cooks don't even know what the hell that chicken is called. I can't even identify the recipe. What the hell's going on here? They better have lemons this time. Ah, oh, the ice cream is not sloppy. Beautiful, it's nice and it's well kept. The old uh, hard ice cream station. Ice cream, ice cream. Uh-oh. I gotta watch my plate because I think the, the steamed dumpling sauce was spilling a little bit. Okay. Very succulent, and I gotta get myself a steak knife. A steak knife. Son of a bitch. I think I got, I think I got, 
dumpling sauce on my hand. Take care of that. All right, let me get myself a steak knife. And then I'm going to get myself some lemons. Hopefully there's going to be lemons. All right. Steak knife. Okay. Uh, hopefully there's lemons. We're, of course I gotta get the yellow the yellow soup bowl to color coordinate with the color of the lemons. Damn jabronis. What? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, amazing. Still no lemons. No lemons. Where the hell's the lemons? No lemons. They usually put a lot of lemons out. What's wrong with these jabronis back there? Is that falafel? Mix. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Now they're gonna give me like like a like a just a few wedges of lemon. Seriously, what's going on here? You're gonna give me like a few wedges of lemon. What in tarnation is going on here, Commodore Jeff Sambello? This is the second time they had no lemons out. And I, and I distinctly said before I acknowledged that there was no lemons, that there was not going to be any lemons and my psychic uh, intuition told me and, and, I, and I was right this is the second time no lemons this is very strange they're knuckleheads you know there's no there's no point in me it's the second time no lemons they put no lemons the second time The second time, no lemons out. No, they, 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 they all of a sudden they, they don't want to put lemons out. See, nothing. Oh, they, the, the, oh, the knuckleheads don't want to put more out. Ah. All right, maybe later. I'll get them later because this way I drink lemon water, you know. Ah, oh, fung, Every everybody's uh what's going on? Everybody's everybody's a nincompoop. Everybody's a nincompoop, man. Nowadays. We got a problem in the twenty first century called nincompoop uh itis. Nobody's keeping on top of everything. Cut down on the help. I don't I don't know. There's one guy doing Mongolian barbecue and then he's running back and forth between the Mongolian barbecue and the sushi. You know, the companies, corporate America, they're all getting, they're all getting tighter than the clam's ass. They're all getting greedy, man. This is unbelievable. I think it's time for another Progressive Discussions live show, because I got more material than this, believe me. I got more material than this. Yellow ball, yellow lemons. mentioned yellow bowl yellow lemons to the new girl that here works here the Asian girl she don't even laugh what, a bunch of robots
All right. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna get to that succulent tender chicken breast Mediterranean, and then I think I'm gonna go for the uh, paella valenciana. Okay, at the Mongolian barbecue. Royal Hibachi, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. The king of Mongolian barbecue is there. And look at that little tiny bit of food he's got to cook. Oh my God. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of camarón. <laughs> look how tiny it is. Oh. Anyway, no eggs. Remember the time you have to crack egg on it? Make a desayuno for people? <laughs> Some people ask for eggs. Oh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Very soon. New Year's Day, the line I saw was almost out the door. It was so long. New really? Year's Day? It was terrible. It was busy. Really? You, you working New Year's Day? Where? Here. New Year's Day. Yeah, New Year's, uh, when was New Year's, New Year's Day? Wednesday. Wednesday, right? Wednesday. It was very, very crowded. Busy. It was like a long. Yeah, a long way oh, yeah. going outside. Yeah. Oh, terrible. Like, I know it's like a paella. Now, paella, but let's paella, see. Paella, I know paella. Over it's there, yeah. Paella. All right, there we go. What are you doing? All right. <coughs> okay, here we go. Paella Valenciana. The thing I like about Paella Valenciana is that the flavor of the seafood permeates, Jeff Zambello, permeates the, the, the rice. And that's the good thing about Paella Valenciana. There's some shrimp. Some mussels, right? Right. Uh, well, the clam meat pretty much fell out of the clams, so I'm not, I'm not gonna fill my dish up with clam shells, you know. But uh, it's very, extremely tasty food, pa paella valenciana, which means there's no meat in it. It's all mariscos. There's no, there's no uh, chorizo or chicken. All right, that should be good. That should be good right there. Oop, yeah, let me take a little more muscle on shirt. Hey, perfect. Paella Valencia. What a pleasant surprise, people. The Royal Hibachi Buffet. Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Beautiful. 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 Ah, you know what? I'll get some grape. I think I'll get some grape leaves. I haven't had grape leaves in a long time. Oh, I'll get a couple of those. Some olives. I can have some olives. Olives are good. Mm -hmm. Black olives. Sun-dried tomatoes with olives. I don't know if that's quinoa or pigeon peas. I'm not sure. Yeah, I got them. I used the yellow bowl for the yellow lemon, so it matches. Thank you. Yeah. Why you want to be on YouTube? You want to be on YouTube? Because this goes on YouTube.
All right, I, I won't point it at you. You want to talk about uh, Chinese uh, cooking? You want to talk about uh, <laughs> Shanghai or something? All right, no, no problem. <laughs> All right, Paella Valenciana. I took a couple grape leaves, black some black olives, and of course, like the lady said, I have plenty of lemons. Better late than never. Unfortunately, the knuckleheads in the, in the kitchen are not paying attention. Okay, I'm going to get myself. Well. They cleaned out the clams, but I'm going to get myself some some calamari rings. <laughs> calamari rings. Oh, look at that. More codfish. Succulent codfish. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And get some shrimp. Oh, that kid is screaming. I think Krampus needs to visit these kids today. There we go. Look at that. Succulent codfish. Look at that. Krampus, where are you when we need you, my hero? Where are you? Look at that. Look at that. It's going right in that. And that gold, that golden broth. Probably has lemon and garlic and olive oil in it. Come on. Look at this. Look at this beautiful Jeff Sambella. Catch it a day. Pride of the North, the pride of the North Atlantic, the codfish, the codfish. Look at that there. Look at that beautiful codfish. All right, all right. There we go. Oh shit! Ah, son of a bitch. Let me get out of here. But something I need not to forget and that is that they brought out some succulent papaya I gotta get some papaya there's no doubt about that and I better get it soon oh my god my head is pounding you get some papaya the papaya came out I better get it now Get that papaya. Papaya. Here we go. Look at that. Succulent papaya. The magic melon of the tropics. Here at the Royal Abachi Buffet. Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. You gotta yell, you gotta say, hey you, no running, or else Krampus is gonna come and get you. <laughs> Got some mango, but it might be a little hard. I don't know, I could try. I could try a couple, but... Alright, let me try one. Might be too hard, though. Alright, I'll try another one. What do you think, Jeff Zambo? I'll try two. This way I won't waste it if it's too hard. Take a little 
a lot of momos. There's a lot of momos out here. No sense of humor. There's a lot of momos. If I had a, a, a quarter for every momo, Mama Luke I run into, I'd be a wealthy man. This old, old religious fanatic, zealot, old man, he had a gigantic, he has a gigantic cross around his neck, almost as big as he is. He wouldn't shut up. He's only, he only shut up because he's, he's getting ice cream now. Okay, this is the end of the uh, buffet for the beginning of uh, January 2019, the lunch buffet, Royal Hibachi in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. And what you see now is a uh, Latin uh, uh, dessert, a very popular dessert, tre leche cake. Okay, it's post New Year's. Eve lunch buffet, and here's a special baklava, which looks like shredded wheat, but it's very good. Shredded wheat baklava? I don't, I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty good. Um, okay. Um, all right. Let's gonna see what flavor I'm in the mood for. I think I'm gonna get. Strawberry. But first, Jeff Sambello, I'm going to use a spoon, and you know why. You know exactly why I'm using a spoon. Oh, good, it's real hard, too. It's because there wasn't too many, there was no fatty arbuckle kids here today. I've had girls tell me. Anyway, I'll have to manage the two hands. Okay. That's it. That's the end of the uh, post uh, New Year's Eve 2019, beginning of January, lunch buffet at the Royal Hibachi uh, in Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. That's right, strawberry ice cream. Nice and hard, too, because there's no fatty arbuckles letting all the refrigeration out. No little Chris Christie's. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.